Thank you, Vlamily. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all of the love, the support, and helping me to hit 1K. I appreciate you guys. God bless. I'm back. Hi guys, it's your girl, Natasha Tracy Taylor, also known as your girl, Tash. Oh, Vlamily, you guys helped me hit 1K. 1K! Don't worry, your girl gonna keep doing more vlogs for you. I got y'all. Thank you so much. Like, literally, couldn't have done this without you guys. This is a relationship, you know. Right. No, but honestly, guys, I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been my supporters. You've been following me. You've stayed subscribed to me regardless of how long it took me to post. You know, sometimes it was like years in between. And you still stay loyal and connected to me. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. For all of you guys, love and support, we hit 1K. And your girls has an update for you guys. I had my very first international client in Turkey. You know, when I went through things, guys, in relationships, it almost broke me, guys. And to know that... God had a purpose for it all, like to see how it all comes into effect now when people go through things and I realize that it matches things that I've already gone through. I have advice for them, I have tips. I can be able to share my testimony freely, openly, being transparent. So this week, guys, has been so heart fluttery for me with all the testimonies that's been happening, the doors that have been opening for me, it has been really, really positively overwhelming. But you know, you have to take time out and unplug sometimes, really take time with God and give God thanks and also really ground your energy. Just because if you're not grounded, a lot of these doors when they open for you and God elevates you can really get to your head. You know what I mean? Oh my girl, you speaking truth. So I really want to always ask God to keep me grounded, keep me with humility and grace. I know it took me a little while to embrace you know, hitting the 1K, but guys, I know I, I really sound repetitive, but you know, I'm just grateful. Eight years, guys, oh gosh. No, but really, thank you. So guys, yesterday was Belle's Let's Talk Day. It had to do with mental health, reaching out to those that you haven't heard from in a while, even people that you don't normally engage with, just reaching out to them and finding out how they're doing in this time. If you haven't been paying attention to the news, if you guys have not been looking at your timeline, there's a lot of people that are crying out indirectly for help. So guys, this is the time to reach out to those family members, friends, people that you haven't connected with in a while, maybe a neighbor, a coworker, somebody online, just to check in to see if they're okay. There's a lot of people that are crying out at this time. You know, there's relationships that are suffering, both kings and queens that are stuck in relationships that they're being abused. Kings get abused too, guys. Don't think that it's only queens. We have kings and queens in abusive relationships. Kids also, guys, that are stuck in quarantine in households with parents that are constantly fighting or maybe with one abusive parent. And every time they used to go to school, that was the only time that they were able to get any kind of release. Guys, there is so many different situations. People that are losing loved ones, whether it's related to COVID or unrelated. They have other health issues that they were battling and nobody knows of. There's people that are suffering inside. They lost their jobs or losing their homes. There's people that are losing their businesses where this is their bread and butter to feed their family. You know, that's all they've ever known for 20, 30, 40 years. And now they don't know where to start. They don't even know what a resume looks like. So this is the time, guys, that we have to reach out to those people, really give them encouragement and motivation try to just be a listening ear. You know, many times a lot of us have conversations and we listen to reply. We don't listen to actually understand and empathize and see where that person is coming from. See their struggles, see their pain and be able to walk a mile in their shoes just by listening to them. If you were in that person's shoes, what is it that would quench your thirst? 
you really want to understand where they're coming from because we can all relate to everybody's pain one way or another every single situation that somebody's been through you can be able to have some sort of recollection in your mind even if you don't have the same journey as them you can be able to understand the pain that they're going through because if you're on some sort of journey in your life right now where you've gained wisdom you were stronger than you were five ten years ago there was a reason you got to that strength nothing happens by accident so I really want to encourage you guys to reach out to somebody and if you yourself are suffering with mental illness whether it's depression anxiety you know there's so many different forms of mental illness if you're feeling depressed you're feeling like you know you're always having anxiety attacks you can never feel at peace you're always worrying you can't sleep at night you can't eat properly you're having insomnia your hair is falling out you're probably losing weight or putting on weight you're either binge eating or forgetting to eat whatever it is that you're going through you know maybe you're overspending maybe you know you you just can't stop being negative about your situation and complaining you can't help it you're trying to be positive you don't know how to hold on I encourage you right now to reach out to somebody that you feel comfortable talking to somebody that you can be able to let yourself go to that you can be yourself with that you can be transparent you can truly let yourself go let them know how you feel let them hear your pain let them hear your hurt let them hear what it is that, that that's really what's the core of your hurt what's battling with your mind you may even be facing a silent battle and those are the worst those are the ones where you're facing a battle and nobody knows nothing about it and only you know and it's like burning you down every day you're battling your mind trying to put on a smile for everybody meanwhile your heart is just on fire you have people that are jealous of you that are envious of you that are maliciously attacking you and they have no idea the fight every day that you have to put forward I get it and I'm saying to you it is okay to be that way it is not a weakness it is not a weakness your mental health is not a weakness if you are suffering with mental health if you have a mental health issue right now I'm talking to you reaching out is the strongest thing you can ever do don't let anybody tell you that that's a weakness and I'm telling you that I Natasha Tracy Taylor your girl is telling you don't let anybody tell you that that's a weakness hey so Blamily, I know that my energy was a little bit more grounded today, but your girl just wanted to tell you guys thank you so much and really show my appreciation of how grateful I am of you guys staying connected to me, all of the likes, even the comments, giving your feedback, sharing your stories, being very transparent, you know? Thank you guys very, very much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Your girl is committed to you. So, you know, I appreciate you guys. And our relationship is just growing so beautifully. I love you. Again, thank you so much for helping me hit 1K, guys. I'm always posting regularly, guys, on Facebook and Instagram, as well as the other platforms, but majority of the time it's like Facebook and Instagram. So I do encourage you guys to stay connected to all platforms. If you are not yet connected to my podcast, I encourage you guys to go on podbean.com, type in Tash Talks Truth, and you guys will see my podbean come up. I want you to guys to follow the podcast. The girl is a little bit more grounded in the podcast. So here, guys, on this platform, you get the personality and the vibes. But in the podcast, you get to be able to hear it. And it's more relaxed and mellow vibes. I get more real and raw with the information, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not yet liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel, hit that like, subscribe, and share button down below. Make sure that you share this video, guys, with a friend, a colleague, a neighbor, anybody, guys, that you feel is looking for inspiration. Please feel free to share this video. You never know who's candle with your lighting. So I love you guys. Keep kinging, keep queening, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah!